What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is we Friday the 25th of January and we have got so much to go through today. So just before we get started, if you could show your support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notifications next to it so never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box and current schedule is shooting most days, 8am UK time, a new transfer video. And the reason there wasn't an episode yesterday is because the day before that, um, I mentioned on Twitter and stuff that YouTube was down from like 8 a.m. up until probably 5 p.m. UK, so the schedule went all over the place. And finally, in the comment section below, I asked this at the very start of the window, but what team do you support? Right then, let's jump into the very first player of the day as Emiliano Martinez, an Arsenal goalkeeper. He's gone out alone to Reading in the Championship for the rest of the season. And I can point out as well that the confirmed transfers, they won't all be at the start today because there's been so many. Former Everton and United goalkeeper and a former USA international now, uh, Tim Howard, he has announced at the end of the 2019 MLS season, he'll be retiring. Hans Wolf has agreed to join Leipzig in the Bundesliga from Red Bull Salzburg. It's a 10 million euro fee and signed a contract until 2024. But it won't be going through in January, it'll happen in the summer window. Former Chelsea midfielder John Ober McKell is up next and he's joined Championship side Middlesbrough on a free transfer until the end of the season. And before that, he's playing for, I think, Tianjin Teda in the Chinese Super League. Japanese left midfielder Inui is up next. He joined Deportivo Alaves in Spain from Real Betis as a loan deal for the rest of the season. This next one could be announced very, very soon, at least according to reports in France, in particular according to L'Equipe. They're saying Bordeaux have concluded a deal to sign English attacker Josh Madger from Sunderland. The fee is set to be around €4 million Euros or £3.5 million. And there was interest there from a few Premier League sides and uh, apparently Sunderland have got a very good sell-on clause in the deal. Crystal Palace are considering a deal to re-sign Yannick Balassi from Everton, according to Football Insider. The 29-year-old returned to Goodison Park earlier this week after electing to cut short his season-long loan at Aston Villa. Finally, a new transfer for Newcastle fans now, as Romelu Lukaku's brother, Jordan Lukaku. He's set to join Newcastle from Lazio or loan until the end of the season, and deal has been agreed. For FIFA Ultra Team purposes, obviously if he gets a special card left back, it'd be a very, very meta player, but as of right now, his base card's a left midfielder. And next up, according to Manchester Evening News, they're saying Manchester United are interested in Leeds United winger Jack Clark, but Marcelo Bielsa is very confident of keeping him. He is regarded as a massive talent after breaking into the Leeds team, and to be fair, if they win promotion, he'll get a good amount of game time in the Premier League, I'd imagine. But there is also interest there from the likes of Crystal Palace and Southampton, and um, I believe bids have been turned down. And now according to Muno Deportivo, they said Napoli is set to complete the signing of midfielder Pablo Fornal. That's from Villarreal. The 22-year-old has a 13 million euro or 26.2 million pound release clause in his current contract, but it's believed that Carlo Ancelotti's side will pay just under that amount. Galatasaray are interested in signing Divo Karigi from Liverpool alone for the rest of the season. That's according to Turkish outlet Fnatic. And they also mention that's because they failed to sign Sparta Prague striker Benjamin Tete. And they were linked to Origi back in the summer. That was a permanent basis back then. AS are saying Inter Milan have now placed a price tag on Ivan Perisic around £35 million or €45 million. Euros. He is set for the exit door during this January transfer window. United have been interested quite a bit even last summer or close to signing him, but Atletico Madrid, it could also be his destination. Arsenal are in talks to sign PSG's Christopher Nkunku on loan with an option to buy, and deal now depends on Paris Saint-Germain's incomings, according to L'Equipe. And it makes sense because Unai Emery keeps mentioning that this January, it won't be any permanent transfers, but loan deals, very possible. And next up we have got Jelson Martins, a player that moved to Atletico Madrid back in the summer window um, from Sporting and it hasn't really worked out too well for him. And according to Cadena Cope today, they're saying Atletico Madrid's Jelson Martins is joining Monaco on loan until the end of the season. And according to Sky Sports, Newcastle also made an inquiry for him and were willing to pay £4.3 million to get him on loan. Parma are hoping to bring a turbo back to Italy this month, according to Sky Sports Italia. The 25-year-old has previously played for Hellas Verona, Roma and Torino, and he also had a short loan spell at Bournemouth. And I believe right now he's playing his football in Mexico, and as for the permanent deal or loan deal, they don't actually mention it. But now we have got a confirmed transfer, Gonzalo Martinez. 
The Argentine playmaker has now officially joined Atlanta United in the MLS from River Plate. It's a $14 million fee and he's currently the South American Footballer of the Year. He also recently won the Copa Libertadores with River Plate and uh, this also could lead to the next transfer that is Miguel Almoron going to Newcastle. He has been a target for Rafa Benitez for a while now and the transfer of Martinez to Atlanta, it could make the transfer possible. And the reason for that is because Atlanta currently have four designated players on their roster and the MLS rules say they can only have three. And they both play similar positions, so for Newcastle, they could be getting Lukaku and Almiron. And next up we have a transfer that won't be happening according to ESPN. They're saying Manchester United have rejected Arsenal's approach to sign Eric Bailly on loan. And the Daily Mail are saying the same thing, that Bailly doesn't want to join Arsenal, instead he wants to prove himself at United. And this next transfer could be announced very, very soon according to Sky Sports Italia and Gianluca Damasio. They are sent into our advanced talks with Southampton over a loan deal for right back Cedric Suarez. The two clubs are also discussing the option of a permanent deal being inserted into a loan deal, which can be activated in the summer. And next up, according to Calcio Mercato, they are sent Leicester midfielder Adrian Silva is the subject of interest from Inter Milan. Apparently Bordeaux are very close to signing him as well, um, but Inter, they want to sign a couple of targets before the window closes. A couple more confirmed transfers and the first player is Bangora. He joined Vancouver Whitecaps in the MLS from Ray Vallecano as a loan deal for the whole season. And Victor Moses has completed his medical with Fenerbahce in Turkey, is from Chelsea as a loan deal for the rest of the season. And this next transfer might have been announced already, but according to various different sources, including Lekeep, they are saying PSG have concluded an agreement with Zenit St. Petersburg. It's worth 47 million euros for the Argentine midfielder, and he's set to sign a four and a half year contract, and that could be imminently. He was a target as well for Chelsea to replace Cesc Fabregas, but it seems to have broken down, and instead, he's opted to go to Paris. This next one could be very, very interesting according to Build and also Sport Build, both from Germany. They're saying Borussia Dortmund have open talks with Wilfred Zaha's representatives as they see him as a replacement for outgoing Christian Pulisic, who's going to Chelsea in the summer. The English papers are reporting this as well now for a fee of a region of £50 million. So for Dortmund, I think it'd be a good signing. Milan have made new contact with Yannick Carrasco and there could be signals in two days' time to understand if a deal is possible. Milan did contact them at the very start of the window, but as of then, nothing too much really happened. There's interest there from Arsenal and Manchester United, but he might also stay in China. And now according to RMC, they're saying Paris Saint-Germain have started talks with Bayern to sign midfielder Renato Sanchez. However, according to Sky Germany, PSG have been priced out of a deal because Bayern are asking for 15 million euros more than Paris Saint-Germain want to pay. Now PSG have been linked to so many central midfielders so far. You've got Julian Weigl, Adrissa Gay, Paradez, Renato Sanchez, um, there's Decore, and probably a few others on top of that list. But that's because Rabiot, he's like 100% certain to leave now. And now we have got the merry-go-round transfer of strikers. And first up we've got Piontek. He's now officially joined AC Milan from Genoa. It's a 35 million euro fee and signed a four and a half year contract. And the reason they signed him is to replace Gonzalo Higuain, who is now officially a Chelsea player. It's from Juventus technically, although he was playing for AC Milan, and it's a six-month loan deal until the end of the season. But Chelsea can extend that loan deal until June 2020 for 18 million euros, whilst also retaining an option to buy for 36 million. And that option to buy for Chelsea can be paid over two years. Um, and as for the loan deal itself for six months, I read somewhere it's like nine million pound. And now we have got Morata, and at the moment it's not being announced just yet at the time of recording this video, but by the time it's uploaded, it should be announced. But he is set to join Atletico from Chelsea on loan for the rest of the season, as an option to buy there for £43.7 million plus a £4.4 million loan fee. And now we have a very interesting one, again according to Gianluca Damasio and Fabrizio Romano. They are saying Qatar Sports League club Al Dahel have reportedly made an offer for Juventus defender Medi Benatia. There is a lot of speculation regarding his future, whether he'll stay at Juventus for the rest of the season, and if at the very start of January transfer window, Arsenal wanted him. But the article goes on to say, the Moroccan centre-back is understood to be considering a highly lucrative offer from the club, and the offer to Juventus is around 10 million euros. And now we have got two more confirmed deals, and first up is Mario Balotelli, and he's finally completed the switch to Marseille from OGC Nice. Some places say it's a loan deal for six months until the end of the season, others say it's a free transfer in general. 
Either way, though, he is set to be paid two to three million euros for his services uh, during that short period of time. And you would imagine if he does do well, they'll extend it even longer. And now we have got a huge one from Wednesday night, and that is Frankie de Jong. The Wonder Kid is joining Barca from Ajax, and the fee is 75 million euros plus 11 million euros in future add ons. He signed a five year contract, but it starts in the summer, not now. So that is obviously a transfer for the future as well as the present. And if you watch him play for Ajax or the Dutch national team, he oozes class. He's pretty much what you say is a perfect Barca player as well because his technical ability, his passing ability is uh, very, very good already and get even better. Um, but apparently according to AS, Barca fear a revenge attack from Paris Saint-Germain in the form of activating the release clause of one of their key players. And that's after De Jong rejected the French club in favor of Barca. And what they mean by a revenge attack is you go back to 2017 during the summer window, Barca tried getting Verratti from Paris Saint-Germain. PSG, they hated that, so you know what? Let's get Neymar. And according to The Telegraph, they say Frankie de Jong's Ajax teammate, De Ligt, wants to follow him to Barcelona. Man City, Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain are also interested. And you would assume he will leave in the summer window. And for a fee, I imagine quite close to Frankie de Jong's. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it and enjoyed the transfers, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome and greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notifications next to it so you never miss an upload. Current schedule every day at 8am UK time, it's a new transfer episode. And finally in the comment section below, what team do you support? Let me down below. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.